Hey everyone and welcome to Already Cancelled, I am Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about Twin Peaks Season 2, Episode 22. It is the season finale, it is actually, well, I don't know if I can call it the series finale now because we're getting a new season, but for a long time this was the series finale. It's called Life, Beyond Life and Death is the title of the episode. Uh, but before we actually start, I have a, mm -hmm. a question for you. Yes. Last episode, you referred to an image that you'd seen. And yes. You, you, was that in this episode? Yes. What was it? <laughs> the final shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, I didn't see what was in the mirror. In there. Like, I don't remember seeing anything in the mirror. But the, the scene of him turning around with the blood in the face and sort of smelling evil. Right. So you only got like half the context Yes, yes. Uh, and what I thought was going to happen, half happened. At least the main part of it happened. Okay. I thought Annie was going to die. Yes. We weren't going to know who it was, and then we were going to find out Cooper had been taken over by Bob. And it was Cooper Bob. I, I didn't quite think that. I thought mm. it was going to be his, uh, you know, the doppelganger. Well, see, this is the thing. Before we, <laughs> we get into this already. I'm not, I'm not sure the doppelgangers are actual... Like things, yeah. yeah. I I think the doppelganger is like a manifestation of their evil side that Bob uses to like corrupt them so quite, he can get in. Quite possibly, yeah. That's that's what I got from it. Uh, mm. uh, oh, we're done. There you go. That's it. That's, that's, that's yeah. the finale. We'll see you next time. We solved it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. First of all, one one minor complaint about the uh, the opening. But by the way, this is. I mean, I'm hoping it's the same music and stuff for the opening titles because I'll, I'll be upset if not. Yeah, if that's the last time you heard it. Yeah. But I, one minor complaint is they did put Ray Wise's name in the, the opening titles and I noticed it and I went, oh, I know he's popping yeah. up. I had a nice moment not to know he was appearing, but hey. Whatever. Uh, so there's some other bits outside the Black Lodge, of course, uh, just kind of wrap up. And some cliffhanger ways, might I add. It's not like they're all in a nice, neat bow. But there's well, not th the ending of the show, to be fair. Oh, true, true. But with Lynch, I mean... Even though we know this is the end coming up with this this new season, I am almost convinced that it's still going to end in some sort of ambiguous moment. Although, oh, maybe, oh, that said, this feels like, felt like there was maybe a plan for tell. more. Whereas yeah. I feel like this one will feel more like no, no, this is just meant to be ambiguous. This is this is the end of the Mulholland Drive where you want to chew on what you've just witnessed. Which, by the way, can I just point out something amazing? in this finale just some one small thing that i don't know how that crazy bastard david lynch did this i have no idea how he accomplished this in the black lodge laura says to cooper i'll see you again in 25 years right i just want to say that is not referring to the new show i don't believe as coincidental as that is as I'm, i mean it's a year off but my god that is amazing i thought it as well I'm pretty sure that's referring to, you know, when, when Cooper had the dream in season one, he was an old man. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm pretty sure that's what that was meant to be referring to. But watching it now, knowing that we're getting a new one, it's like, oh my God, that's so close. I don't care. I don't think it matters. I, I think it's going to work. I, I think it, when we watch this new season, I think that 25 year warning is just going to feel like it was the best planned thing ever. I know. In I the know. history of anything. <laughs> it's incredible. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Uh, I, I the the grin that appeared across my face as she said that line. Yeah, oh, I know. Man. I was just like, "How? How did you do that? Did, did you literally have an idea and wait for twenty five years and go screw it? I'm doing it." It's, it's like he he was ahead of the curve. He knew that you know, enter this decade that suddenly bringing back old shows was the thing. It was the rage. It's bringing back Gilmore Girls. Bringing back. <laughs> filler house on netflix uh, i'm just saying look in in the same way that laura was referring to something that already happened for cooper and it's a bit mm -hmm. of you know tammy wimey stuff i'm pretty sure lynch is from the future <laughs> he don't, he's already made the next show like he's already made the new stuff when he's doing this so he's going to ah, 25 years that's close enough i won't do a dead on i don't want to don't want to give it away too much if not actually made he uh, <laughs> It doesn't. It wouldn't surprise me if he had like, just the scripts written out for th yeah. the rest of Twin Peaks in a drawer somewhere for the past twenty plus years. <laughs> oh yeah. my god, I I cannot begin to talk about that. That is just ex it's, exceptional. It, it's. I don't know if it's the biggest coincidence ever. 
Or if, if he did actually have an inkling and a plan and you, if that was always something in his mind. Do you know what I actually I really appreciate about it? Just that this is just a circumstantial thing. That moment almost works better for us watching this now than it... Because don't get me wrong, I'm sure for people who watched it back then and then they realise it's kind of... Wait a minute, didn't she say something in the last episode? Or maybe they, they someone mentions it online and they go, oh yeah, she did say that. Sure, that, that'll feel cool. But for us watching this now, knowing there's another season coming almost exactly 25 years after, it's like... I know. Man. It's crazy, isn't it? Oh, so it's all been built up to this. This is what it is. Uh, so, how do we even talk should, about... Should we, should we start from the other stuff? Let's get okay. that stuff out of the all way right, first. We'll do all this sort of... I'll call it the boring stuff. It's yeah, not boring yeah, necessarily, but... By comparison. Yeah. Uh, so, let's start with a bank. Uh, yes. Which... Now, admittedly, because I know uh, Audrey's in the new season, I know she makes it out of this okay. So, that is the one thing that's maybe... Then again, maybe the movie tells you that as well. I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea what the movie... Because I know the movie's set before, but I don't know if there's some stuff set after as well. Like, I think it... Right, I okay. may do both. I'm not sure. So, I'm not sure, you know, what's going to be brought up there, but... Uh, so, obviously, the end doesn't end up with Cliffhanger. And, the, by the way, can I just say, like, even simple scenes, you can tell Lynch is back. Uh, th- this whole scene where Audrey changed herself to the, the entrance to the vault in protest of the, the whole development that's going on that she's been mm-hmm. trying to fight. And... This old guy who works at the bank is like supposed to get her, supposed to make a phone call for her, and he's supposed to get her a drink. And you know, one shot, we just follow him up the room. And it's it's so much of the episode. Really, there's a good few minutes just him walking up and down this room. It's this that thing Lynch does so well, where he'll use the footsteps of someone walking to build a pace of a really mundane scene. Yeah. And it's just these clanking footsteps across this, you know, marble floor. This old guy comes and gets the water, gives her a drink, then walks back. <laughs> and it's uh, and eventually Pete and uh, Andrew come in. Uh, and this is like the, the keys for a safety deposit box. And uh, of course we find out that this was all just some long string of plans to kill Andrew once and for all with a bomb in the safety deposit box. And I feel, Because of course it was. I do feel bad, because even though I know Audrey makes it out okay, I feel bad because Pete was standing right there. Yeah. It's like, I don't care about Andrew dying, but I do care about Pete dying. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Even Audrey, when she sees Pete, she's like, oh, hey, Pete. Like, she's, oh, so yeah, yeah, they just had that nice little moment. Yeah. It's a real shame. It's a real shame. Uh, but no, the, the pacing of it was really fun. Again, speaking of Lynch and he's directing, the uh, the one scene we had with Ed and Nadine and Norma, uh, like, right away, like it's, it's this you know wide-angle corner of the room, so it has this almost fisheye kind of feel to it because it's so yeah. such a narrow space, but it's wide-angle. And... There's music playing and Ed walks in like sort of clicking his finger. And again, it just feels that we're in a lynch scene as opposed yeah. to a normal scene that we've been having with these people. Yeah, this that seems probably one of my main problems with the episode is that it's just, uh, you know, the, the whole Nadine plot is like, okay, so it didn't really mean anything or do it anything. Didn't. That said, I have to admit, I did laugh when she immediately went, where's my drapes? I did. <laughs> Where's I my drape runner? Because that was a joke from back when Lynch was doing things. So her making a callback to that immediately as soon as she woke up from her, her weird spell was pretty funny. I, I agree. But it just, <laughs> it, it sticks out as, okay, yeah, this, it this scene itself was fine. It was enjoyable enough to watch, but what was the point? Uh, it's, it's kind of the same with uh, wrapping up the Donna thing. It was just to wrap it up uh, quickly. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Ben gets a nasty... I actually thought he may have died until uh, we see the doc at the end again. Uh Seemingly, you know, he's not. At least, if he did die, he's hiding it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. But, so, so that so that was a thing. So that that was the majority. Obviously, was a little scene with Lucy and Andy at the start, uh, where they sort of first. I guess the first time they say, "I love you to each other." That's my cat opening the door because he's he's a, he's a smart cat. <laughs> uh, but so again, that, that was about it. Mainly, yeah. Uh, was... We had the, the little bit with Bobby and Shelley as well. Oh, quite right, quite right. They're pretty happy. Uh, he wants to get married. Mm. Uh, which, oh, which by the way, in that scene as well, it connects to the other stuff. But uh, we see Laura's mum for the first time in probably since the funeral, I think. Yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, and uh, she, she, well, maybe not since the funeral. Yeah, maybe it has been since the funeral. Might be. It's been a long time. It's been a long last time since we've seen her. Yeah. Uh, but she comes in and she has like the weird voice going, and she tells t- tells Major Briggs that. He's waiting in the Black Lodge. 
Yeah. It's like, oh. Because obviously we've spoken about how Laura and her mother seem to have this connection, kind of like Cooper does in a weird way, where they could see things that other people couldn't, and so it makes sense that she would get some sort of thing. Yes. Uh, but no, I think I think what all these scenes did, it was kind of a neat way of at least trying to get every single important character from the start of the show back in to at least one scene. Because Jacoby was there with them, he was a big thing at the part start of the show, and mm. so on. So I felt like everyone got at least a little scene in the in this finale. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, except James, because I was just about to say that. <laughs> except James, he's 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 long gone. He's you. He 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 doesn't deserve it after that plot. No, he doesn't. The last time we heard from James was that stupid postcard where he narrated. The, you know what it said, mm-hmm. and the guitar theme came in. That was the last. That, was, that was once too many times. <laughs> so, so Cooper realizes the firewall with me going going with the map indicates where the the gateway the the, the and they bring this this goo in that the log lady got from her, her dead husband, and you know re- even Renette Pulaski gets a little little scene. She she yeah. pops up, which made it feel like oh that super connects back to the start of the show. Not, not yeah, yeah. Her it's, it's actually relevant to Laura Palmer again for yeah. the first time since what, episode nine. Yeah, yeah, uh, and so they, they basically figure out where they're going, and we, we see Earl and we see Annie, and Annie when they get to the circle of trees, basically just goes into like a trance. It's like something's t- taken over, her. Mm. and Earl leads her into. Now, fair enough, I, for some reason I assumed they had to jump into the the, the black goo, but uh, it actually makes more sense with the way Bob entered uh, when we seen him come through, because it was like his yeah, hand was covered. Yeah, it doesn't it? Because yeah. his, his hand was through, but you couldn't see the rest of him, so it actually makes sense that his hand was sticking out of the curtain. Yeah. We, just, we just couldn't see the curtain. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but but that's it. Then Tom, Tom Cooper gets there. Cooper kind of goes translate as well. But not, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but he's not still to the same extent. No, he's still speaking. He's still kind of getting a grasp of what's going on. Yeah, he's still there enough to go. Hey, Harry, you 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 stay here. Yeah, you stay here. I'm I'm, very, I'm going into the you know valley of darkness. You you you, yeah. you sit back, and obviously Harry stays there, and Andy shows up, and they just sit there all night, all day. It's like the next night before Cooper comes back out at the end. Uh, so how do we even begin to talk about this demented trip through the Black Lodge? I feel like. Because even by its nature, it's meant to be kind of confusing because he keeps going through identical rooms. Yeah, through identical rooms, different versions, at like different timings. Things almost seem to repeat. And not things happen out of order, for sure. Yeah. And not only that, we see doppelgangers, not only his doppelganger, uh, but we see Laura's doppelganger, which Maddie, who's there, warns him about Laura's doppelganger. And, by the way, doppelganger Laura, scary and creepy as shit. Yeah, that screaming is terrifying. That screaming mixed with a strobe light... Oft. Yeah, yeah, uh, that was absolutely getting, terrifying. Then again, they were all good. I mean, like, see when uh, like Doppelganger Cooper was with Bob and they were laughing together, and the strobe light was going. Yeah, it's just this maniacal, crazy, just scary, isn't it? Uh, yeah, uh, we we see the giant. We obviously see the, see the dwarf. We see uh, Laura. She says the whole twenty-five year thing. It's it's like this little sort of revolving door of all these people. We see obviously. Uh, it's almost like a greatest hits, isn't it? Yeah, it kind of is, but it's like. All the people who have either died or came from this place. Yes. Uh, and at one point he even sees uh, uh, Caroline, who he gets confused with Annie, and she keeps flipping back and forth. And not only does the act that keeps switching the actress, their dresses, what they're dressed in, also swaps between them. Like at one point, Annie starts in a black top, and then Caroline starts in this sort of flowery dress. And then at one point you see Annie in the flowery dress, and then it, it really does a good job yeah. of disorientating you because it keeps mixing things up. Yeah, uh, it's clever. So that's all good, but. Um, so how how do I interpret this 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 shenanigans? It's a big question because obviously we know fear is the path to the Black Lodge, right? Yes, fear, fear is the path to letting this stuff in, and we all we, I, I think we speculate long ago that uh, Leland Palmer like he, his fear let Bob in, like he he let Bob in because he, he talked about how he kind of accepted it to because he was yeah. a kid, he was scared. Um, I think. What happens here is that the, these doppelgangers are the the evil versions personified, but not necessarily things in the, of their own right. Yes. And I think Cooper got taken. Bob was able to take Cooper because Cooper ran from his doppelganger. Yeah, he was scared. Yeah, he was scared of himself, and he ran, and it was that fear that let him in. Had he stood there and like stood his ground, maybe not. I, yeah, I, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I think he wouldn't have been able to. I think that's what that's what killed or not killed him but, uh, but obviously this reason, this reason so it's obviously at the end of the episode Bob's in Cooper we see him in the mirror and he's 
banging his head in the wa- the, wind, uh, the mirror. And I, what I thought was weird about this is like, well, so they said Annie was okay. This is really interesting to me because like, I really expected her to be dead <laughs> by the end of this episode. Yeah, I mean, they said she was in the hospital, but she'd be fine. Which, but I assume maybe she wasn't awake yet. So mm. maybe she was physically okay, but uh, who knows? Is someone taking over for, of her, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, or maybe she's just traumatised by it all. Maybe, I don't know, but like... Maybe the plan was to next have, you know, Bob Cooper go after her. Like, we'd have evil... And obviously, Cooper's been such a, like, a sort of uh, noble hero. Like, he's so, like, clean-cut. Like, the way... Yeah. Right from the start of the, the show, we've talked about how he didn't, you know, he, he didn't flirt with Audrey because it's inappropriate because she's a teenager and all these other things. Like, he's, he's been a, such a good person throughout the entire show that him being corrupted like this feels like it stings. It's like... Oh man, like you've corrupted the best of us, kind of kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and but no, so but it makes me wonder though. Like so again, I don't know what's going. Obviously, we're watching Firewalk with me. That we'll have a review of that up by the end of the week. But I do wonder, like, if it's not addressed in that, when we start this new season of Twin Peaks, is it Bob? Has it been Bob the whole time? Has now? it been? Yeah, has it been Bob for twenty five years? Is is the dream that Cooper had when he's the old man? Say that is the twenty five years Laura's speaking of, right? Yeah. Is that when he gets out? Hmm. So the idea that he's been trapped in there for twenty-five years. Yeah. yeah okay. Uh, I don't know. Uh, like I say, I'm, obviously, once we've seen the the movie, we can speculate a bit further. But I'm just. Yeah. It's, there was so much to just go on here. It was, and it was presented in such a, an abstract way. Obviously, this is the the most Lynch the show has been for oh, yeah. sure. That's because. I feel like all those other scenes we talked about, they got rid of, they got through all of them in the first half. Yeah. What there was a point where it, it went into the you know the red room, the black lodge, that it just stayed there for the until they got out. Like it was just there for the rest of the. the yeah, episode. it was pretty good. Fifteen twenty minutes it was in yeah. there. Uh, and yeah, I, I'm sure there's a lot of philosophical stuff to it, like read into some of the things they said and whatever. But at least because there was that whole thing with the coffee cup as well, where it kept changing its consistency. Like at one point it was solid, but then it tried to like pour it and then it poured out normal and then it poured out like a thick sludge yeah it kind of reminded me of uh you know when he was with annie and he knocked off the the, the plate and the the syrup said dripping mm, yeah, kind of the imagery that. of it kind of reminded me of that yeah it makes you wonder was the giant not necessarily a warning for annie's sake but was he warning for cooper's sake Mm. They, because because time like you know goes back and forwards in there and it's all puzzled. Yeah. He knew Cooper was going to be trapped and he was trying to warn him against it. Hmm. Could be. Which makes this new season really interesting because ultimately, I mean, let's face it. Ultimately, Cooper failed. He get beat. Yeah. Yeah, he did. So I mean, that that gives this new season actually something. Like, cause, but obviously when there's a new season and I hadn't watched the show yet I was thinking alright so they're going to have a new thing to deal with in the new season it'll be similar to the old thing but not the same now I'm thinking nah he has to win he has to yeah, redeem it's, himself it's, it's, a, it's, it's a comeback it, it's the third act we've not yeah. had the third act yet <laughs> this is the end of act 2 this is the darkest moment it is you're right it was also, I, I, did you just in the, you know, the credits, you know, we usually end on, like, it, for a long time, it was the, the picture of Laura. It was a coffee cup with, uh, like, Laura's, Laura's face, face in it. face in it. I was like, I, I don't know if that was just a, is it meant to be a callback to the, the, the picture? Obviously, I noticed Laura's face was upside down. Mm-hmm. So it was like, you know, it's a mirror image, uh, you know, works with the doppelgangers and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, honestly, after watching this, all I can say is poor, poor, poor original fans who have had to wait twenty five years for that's, this. That's a that's a hell of a cliffhanger to end your show on, isn't it? And it's one of those ones where you know a lot of shows have them where they're they're finished before their time, and it's like, oh man, that cliffhanger that never got answered. Yeah, but, but then I get, to know maybe, now that you're getting that. I mean, maybe the movie does c- cover some of this. Yeah, it could do. Uh, I really I have no idea what Firewall with me is about. Interestingly, we we both know a friend James who's watched the movie without seeing the show, and he quite liked it. So yeah, I, I, he is a weird bastard. He is so. weird, admittedly. Yeah. So I'm I'm not sure how to wrap my head around that, but that's something we can talk about once we've actually watched the movie and can talk about yeah, what it does. Yeah, just a couple and, of days. Yeah, just a few days till we've done that. Uh, this was a lot to take in. Though. I, this was definitely the most mesmerizing episode 
Uh, yeah, I was just sat there, just staring, enthralled. It, I felt like you know, you know, when Annie goes into that trance when they go into the into the mm-hmm. grove, I felt like that just watching this. It's just like it, it's just going in. Yeah, uh, obviously there was a singer in there as well at one point. Uh, when he first went in, there was yeah. the first room we went to. There was like a singer who uh, sang a song. Yeah, about the the sycamore trees. Yeah. Uh, and again, I'm sure there's some sort of philo- philosophical meaning in there that I can't quite put my finger on. Uh, I feel like to truly understand what lunch is trying to get at, sometimes you have to have done like, you have to have like a degree in like a certain subject. Yeah, like it, there was a big thing like that was all about sycamore trees and there were sycamore trees in the grove. And I'm sure that maybe sycamore in particular has some sort of symbolism that we're not aware of. Yeah. But it's if me- you know what that means, it's uh, probably something. It just makes me wonder how much knowledge Lynch has in his head that he can make all these obscure references to various things. It's, it's kind of insane. Yeah. Uh, dear. No, I, 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 honestly, I can't emphasize enough just how good the the creepiness of the, the last, like, ten minutes. That All that strobe lighting stuff, all the, uh, you know, doppelganger Laura was fantastic. Especially when it was, like, when she first started doing it, and at one point, you get a flash of Wyndham Earl, right? Yeah. Because this is before Bob takes his soul. Uh, which, yeah, let's not gloss over that. He takes his soul. <laughs> um, to be fair, Wyndham Earl tried to take Cooper's. He did. He did. Uh, but Bob would rather have an evil soul, I think. Maybe he's the... Mm. Yeah. I mean, maybe he's like... Wyndham Earl's just not worth like possessing or taking control of. He's just not... Yeah, what good can he do? Yeah. Uh, like what? Can, what can Bob do with that? He's 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 going to be hunted down already. I don't. Well, I mean, sure, but I don't even mean logically. I just mean like maybe he doesn't see Wyndham Earl as being as strong as Cooper. Hmm. Okay. Maybe maybe he got too obsessed with it all, whereas mm. Cooper just stumbles into it. Maybe Cooper's the perfect new host now that Leland's gone. Hmm. I can see that. But, but you know, go back to say how, you know, effective the fear is. I think that's why it works so well because we feel the fear that Cooper gets and that's what ultimately makes him afraid and why he loses. And we get that. You really feel it. You understand why he's so scared when you, you know, like the bit where he just starts bleeding and you look back and he's been bleeding all the way down uh, which, the corridor. Which, by the way, see when that happened, I was like, are they saying he's been dead since he got shot? <laughs> like, I, I did the same. I, know, I was like, oh my God, what's going on? Is it's it- the same place, yep. Yeah. Is, is it not? Is it been someone else like this entire time? Like, is it is it been Bob Cooper? <laughs> that could not have been, but you know, like, has it been a doppelganger since then? Like at that point in the episode, I was thinking that. Uh, obviously, I don't think that now, but yeah, yeah, because then like, a minute later or two minutes later, maybe you know, like it starts getting a bit confusing with the time, and it's like, yeah. oh, so that was him being stabbed by Windermere, but then he never got stabbed. Kind of, it kind of undid itself. Yeah. Oh, by the way, see the first time. Uh... For the first time, Laura does the, the screaming, you know, doppelganger Laura, and mm. there's like there's flash of the window mirror, but there's also kind of a quick flash of just like a, I don't know, like an evil skeleton or something like that. It's like her face goes, yeah, just for, it's just like, for a, a, it's like, like a negative X-ray sort of thing. Yeah, it's just like a quick frame or two, and it happens a couple of times. Uh, but doppelganger Cooper, because like, the first time he showed up, I was like, what's going on? Because you see him sort of like it's like Cooper in the background, so you can't really see that he's evil yet, like with the eyes and whatnot. But he's yeah. just doing this like sort of funny walk where he's sort of like it's almost comical what he's doing. It's the same sort of water that the, the dwarf has. Mm, yeah, yeah, even more exaggerated though. Yeah, uh, and he, 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 when he, it's not until he comes close to the, the camera, he, he sees eyes, and you're like, oh wait a minute. That's, yeah, this is and then you get where, where he does it is, and uh, I think um, Bob does as well. They run right up to the camera and look up into it in the corner of the room. Yeah, yeah, they both do that. It's and then staring out at us. Like, uh, oh, scary. As doppelganger Cooper is chasing Cooper, there's one shot back in the room with the strobe light. Where Bob just like appears at the bottom of the camera and he's just he's looking at us like, yeah. because he knows he's winning. He knows he's about to get what he wants. That's it. It's it's not looking at a character and it's it's looking at us. It's it's the idea that no, I've got, he, he's won. Which yeah, it makes Bob this great foe. <laughs> like he's like the Again. ultimate villain. Yeah, like because we we you know it kind of looked like we were done with Bob for a while, but now this has brought him back in, made him you know better than ever essentially. Yeah, yeah, because now it's not just that he killed an innocent girl. Now he's he's taken our hero. He's taken someone we cared about. Yeah, and and I assume he does want to kill Annie in the same way that mm. he made Leland kill Laura. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's the same that. sort of thing where you know this is the person you love. In, in that case, his daughter. This is you know someone else, but it's the same sort of idea. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm I'm kind of at a loss for words here. 
this is really bad when you're trying to discuss try to do a YouTube show where you discuss your thoughts but it's kind of left me speechless and that's yeah. a good thing that's, yeah uh, I'm, I'm glad we didn't watch this like you know like a couple of days before the new episode I want this t- you need a little bit of time to just sit and digest yeah we're going to have a full week between the movie and the new season just to let it sink and just let us yeah it's 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 not 25 years but it's not no it's, it's the best we can do <laughs> oh man Oh god. Uh so yeah, uh as, as I'm sure there's stuff we're missing because there were so many little things as he was going through those rooms. It and also at one point Cooper even is like, wait a minute, this is the same room again and he goes back the way he came and he sees it's the you know, the, the dwarf's still there and he's like, No, you do like wrong the way. Wrong turn, yeah. Yeah. And again, I think that's indicative of like him running back at the end away from because it's it's mm. almost like as he goes through these layers of this like this main game, if you, if, if, if you want to compare it to like Dante's, like, was it seven, nine circles of hell? Seven or nine? Seven. Seven. Uh, it's, it's almost like he's going through the layers of hell, getting closer to his deep, like, personal fear of himself. Yeah. And it's the dwarf saying no wrong way when he tries to go back is a warning. It's like, no, this is the wrong way. You have to keep going forward. And it's, yeah, again, I love like the whole back. thing is literally him just going back and forth up this corridor, like, all the way up until he's running from his doppelganger. And that's when he runs through the room and opposite into the, you know, into the opposite corner. Before that, he always goes out like the same bit that he comes in, and he's just back up and down the same corridor. And that's how you know he's going into new rooms because he keeps, it's, you know, it's, it's looping. It keeps, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, re- it's repetition. It's, the only time he comes back in the other side, and again, it shows you that scene with the dwarf where he comes in and it's that that wrong corner, and he says no wrong way. Is you get the sense that the only time he's going to run back through the way and come back through the side he sort of came through in the first time is when he's going back the way. Yeah. That was really confusing the way I said it, but I th- you know what I meant. <laughs> I did, just about. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, I, I'm, I'm very excited. See, I was, I was excited to watch this finale, but now I'm excited to watch the movie. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited just for the, the new show as well. It's like, oh man, what's it going to do to to f- properly finish off the story rather than be a new story, it feels like. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it's going to be a new story. I mean, maybe, maybe we'll feel differently after the movie, but I feel like... No, this this has to. This is the conclusion to this. That, what, that's the thing, because up till now, I think both of us were just assuming no, it's just a new story. Yeah, you know, someone, we'll someone go, else will revisit. Someone else gets killed because I think we speculate that we found out about Bob and all that after Leland's story ended in the episode. Then we said, oh, maybe the new season is Bob's finally back. Like, yeah, and that would link it in, but it'd still be kind of new. Whereas this feels like no, this feels like this. This uh, is it's it's, it's it, just the final part of the story. Yeah, it, it just yeah. So, admittedly, had you had he tell told me this was a plan, like all that time ago, I said, "Oh no, don't don't be like George R. R. Martin and say you'll get to the, the the final of the story eventually." But of course, what makes this even more weird is that it's not like it was intentional; it got cancelled. Yeah. <laughs> and then bringing back old TV shows wasn't really a thing until relatively recently. Yeah, only a couple of years ago, really. I mean. Uh, I just actually, do you know what else was creepy? Just even when he was looking for the Black Lodge, and it was just like him in the dark in the woods with a with a, the flashlight. There was just, mm. all of that stuff was just, and then you could hear the owls above. Like it was just. It, I love that you could hear the owls. Yeah, yeah. it was just very ominous. Uh, That's the one thing we didn't really get explained yet. The owls, like why owls? Because they they're because they typically are awake at night. Yeah, I mean. They are. They're not the only thing that's awake at night in the forest, but... Oh, sure, but they're uh, awake at night it, and they can fly. Sure. Cool imagery. Give it that. <laughs> I'm just wondering, from from their perspective, why owls? Uh, from from know, the other places' perspective. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and obviously we, we've heard for a while, oh, it's, you know, the owls are there. You know, we've seen Bob in the owl sort of thing when Briggs was taken. I thought... Again, it may just be a symbolic thing. Maybe owls just has a meaning in some language that sort yeah. of is a, it's yeah. just a cool thing to pick for that that idea in the story. Uh, no, that makes sense. I just uh, owls think of you know wisdom. I think is usually associated with owls. Is it? All right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I usually think of when I think of owls. I think just you know as a general trait, wisdom is associated with owls. I believe, which is why I think this is quite interesting because it's. They're, they're, they're quite unhinged in the other place. Seemingly. 
but yeah. pa- but part of me thinks though is that like after after he leaves the the dwarf and like Maddie and original Laura, after that I think all of it's Bob almost. Like I don't mm. think it's different people. Like I think this is like maybe because he's killed various people. Like they're they're doppelgangers are there, but I think it's all Bob land basically. Once we get beyond like the the helpful characters that warn them, well, that, that makes sense. That's what it felt like to me because it felt like once he left that. Because because the even because the dwarf even said that was a waiting room, it wasn't really yeah. in the place yet. Yeah, right. Uh, so there you go. That's the Twin oh. Peaks season two finale. There was a lot to digest in that. <laughs> there was a lot. It was it was a wild ride. Uh, I am so glad we did this. Obviously, I'm looking forward to the movie, which is coming later this week. It'll be late Sunday, I imagine. And we, of course, a uh, new show very soon. So. Let us know what you thought of this episode in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, you, obviously, that all helps us out. You can also help us out, of course, by going to Patreon, patreon.com slash uh, See some of the bonuses that are on there if you want to support the channel and what we do. And, and if you enjoyed like, us pumping these things out over time, uh, then by all means, uh, go over and see if you want to help. But if not, that's cool too. Watching, liking, and subscribing and all that stuff all helps. Uh, but no, get us on Twitter at mail underscore fuzz for channel updates, individual Twitters are on the screen if you want to see some everyday ramblings but that is us, so thank you once again for watching it's not quite the end of the journey but it kind of feels like the end of a journey because it's it's all the, the last episode, yeah. yeah we've got a movie still but whatever, thanks for watching guys we will see you next time